Hi, Jonathan Perkins, PFR agronomist and location lead here at the Effingham site with Bex Hybrids. You can see it back here behind us today. With me today is Mark Lipkeman with ADI. We're here doing a PFR report on some of the tile drainage that we just recently installed here on the farm. So some of you may know about our 2016 water management project, and we decided to put some more tile in here on the farm. So Mark's going to talk to us about some of the advantages of tile drainage in this area. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, we're really blessed to have an opportunity to be here and work with you guys on this project. The practical farm research that you're doing is very important for growers across the belt, and we're thrilled to do that. Uh, one of the things we always like to do is we do a considerable amount of research before we do a job. And so, you know, the three things we're primarily wanting to help producers uh, through is one, of course, we want to add yield, add productivity. Um, we also want to help manage the risk. So we know a lot more today in agriculture about the timing of different things from the planting date to nitrogen applications, other things like that. So we want farmers to be able to farm when they're ready to farm. Uh, and we've learned that a couple of days here or there can make a huge difference in what their productivity is. Uh, this project in particular, we've got four fields here on the Bex Research Farm that we've tiled. Uh, we, when we did our site review and we looked at it, there, there are a lot of cisney soils. Uh, that are uh, uh, you know not real permeable so in as is the case in downstate Illinois in many cases uh, we're on ground that maybe several years ago would have been considered not tileable but through the innovation and things that we've learned through the years w through spacings depth and other things like that and the education process that we went through after being in business for 35 years has allowed us to uh, to enter into markets and help our producers and folks like you uh, with better better design, better engineered tiling system. So what we did here, there are actually four different pieces of this project. Um, we determined through our site review that 30 foot spacings was a desirable spacing for this. Uh, and one of the projects uh, across the way here, we actually put a water control station in where we can shut the water off at the main, at the outlet essentially, so that we can raise that water table and maybe help with that, which I know your research has showed a benefit to. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. So, you know, one of the things we talk about, agronomically speaking, an ideal soil is made up of about 25% air, 25% water, 45% mineral, and then looking at about 5% organic. So we want to try to shoot for that, but sometimes it's tough in these soils. So one of the things that we designed in the project last year is to look at not only tile width and depth, looking at 15s, 30s, 60s compared to no tile, uh, but we also looked at the depths of 24 inches and 36. So, you know, when you mentioned basically our depths here range from about 28 to 36, as you mm -hmm. said. So looking at those, we did compare also in the study some water control structures there, and we saw some advantages to that. So speaking on that data, uh, in the 2016 season, we actually saw from around 35 bushels to almost 60 gains in corn and three to nine bushels in beans. So I'm really looking forward to what this can do for us. And that's part of the reason we wanted to put more tile in here. Sure. So we appreciate you guys helping us out with that. Glad to be a part of it. Definitely. It's, it's a mutual thing for everybody. The ultimate goal is to help farmers, though, to help them succeed. Absolutely. So, you know, we definitely appreciate everything that's going on here. We're looking more into this and working with tile drainage going into the future. We encourage you to stay tuned in the future for our 2017 results. And uh, especially as we go through more PFR reports through the season, we're going to be watching this and seeing how things go on throughout the 2017 growing season. So thanks again, Mark. You bet. We appreciate you be being out here today. Thank you. Thank you, folks, for watching this PFR report. And again, stay tuned for more in the future. Thank you.